This is the update video to the ground and AoE circle abilities. Basically anything that calculates by checking an area on the ground. Um, so this would hopefully also include things like Breath of Life, Warden Mushrooms, uh, Scythe from Necro, abilities of that nature. Um, so the ones we're going to look at is the Brawler, um, Encase, Caltrops, Ring, and Streak. Um, so the previous bug, if you were walking, so just holding W key constantly, and turning your camera as the cone or ground check happens, uh, to however the circuit server calculated or whatever was happening in the game, uh, when it did that calculation, your character would freeze and then start moving again. So issues uh, came when you had, uh, I don't think I have my roll dodge key uh, bound, but when you use the roll dodge key by default, you always roll backwards. So the issue would come when uh, one of these ability halts you because you turned your camera while pressing it, uh, which was the bug. Say if you roll dodge canceled the ability, you'd always roll backwards if you pressed a roll dodge key. Now I use double tap so I never really cared about the bug, but a lot of people I know complained. Uh, and I had people say that I was screenshot hacking with a zerg to cause him to roll backwards into me even though I f was fighting him in 1v1. It, we'll not get into that. It, he was a, a new player, regardless. Um, so here's the check. Just gonna hold W, turn my camera, and here's Brawler. Seems to work fine. In case. Seems to work fine. Caltrops with quick cast on. Seems to work fine. Ring. Seems to work fine. And Streak. Streak's the big one, because now, uh, because that, the whole thing got fixed, uh, Streak lets you move instantly afterwards. So say you have a speed build on, um, you know, that's actually worth something now on a Stamp Sork, because you can actually move afterwards. Um, let's try the Streak to Sprint. Feels pretty good. I'm actually going to throw Hurricane back on. Um, streak to sprint and that feels pretty good uh, you can instantly come out of streak moving fast you don't get halted um, you don't get stopped in midair anymore so you remember sometimes when you streaked you would just streak and then fall in place um, that bug is no longer gone so now you can streak and move in whatever direction uh, after your streak you can do things like streak and move 90 degrees streak and move forward I was technically still holding forward there, but streak and move, and there, move 90 degrees. Um, so now you're not, like, in this weird locked-in position after you streak. Uh, streaking over terrain. Uh, things like uh, out in the field, whenever you streaked. I'll just run out there to check. So streaking up terrain uh, normally... Uh, this will work just the same as it was before, where it reduces the cost for how much uh, vertical you go. But streaking down terrain won't be as bad, because before, I'll go a little bit higher, before, when you streaked, you'd fall in place, and then have to streak again, and then fall in place. Uh, but now, you don't have this weird sort of... If people are chasing you and want to streak downhill, before they would catch up to you if that bug hit you. But now uh, you can keep moving and it's a little more fluid combat. You know, people chasing you aren't gonna like, immediately catch up to you just by sprinting. Um, so that's nice. I am curious, uh, I don't have another player. There's no real enemies nearby. But uh, it'd be interesting to see how some gap closers work. Cause I imagine some of those might change. Can you gap close and instantly start moving? Uh, because streak sort of works like a gap closer in those aspects where it it controls your character and moves it to a certain location. Um, so those are the main things to check. You know, check everything. Check werewolf, uh, gap closer, DK leaps a big one. I had a video of DK leap causing issues for the DK and the player, mostly the the receiving player. Um, but definitely check those gap closers. Uh, one of the gap closers, uh, I think that's broken, is the dual wield gap closer. 
you know, I mean, you'd never see anyone using it, but uh, it was bugged last time I checked. It had some weird bugs like the DK leap, where it uh, actually roots the receiving player through all immunity, which is weird. Sometimes it pulls people out of dodge roll, uh, which is also weird. So they go to roll, they start moving, and then they come back to where they originally were. Uh, that's just nothing to look at. But uh, yeah, it's a little update video. Uh, I'm going to link the uh, previous video showing the old bug uh, so you guys can see what that used to look like. And uh, yeah, thanks.